Welcome back to another Geek What video, and today I'm, t I'm going to be just be just going to have a bit of a rant, and I'm got really frustrated because um, earlier this evening, uh, well, yesterday evening, for you watching um, today on on release date, and I, I, I turned on my Windows PC as per usual, um, the one that I built, the one that I'm very responsible and very careful with, and um, it decided it, it was going to have to automatically repair itself, which I thought was rather rather odd. So I let it do its thing, and it failed to repair itself. So I went into the advanced settings, had this all rigmarole before. So I went in to reset your PC, and then it does its loading like it like it usually does, and then it, it just like we can't we can't reset your PC, install your Windows installation media, and I don't actually have the Windows installation media anymore because I've, I've repurposed that memory stick elsewhere because I don't have an optical drive, and let's be frank, who does have an optical drive these days? So I went into my advanced options, had a bit of a scroll around, desperately looking for what I could do, so I went into the system restore, and if you didn't know what a system restore is, it keeps different dates of different things. And and it makes you check an extra option for older restore points, and I didn't really want to restore anything because I'd had I'd done there's loads of applications and whatever I've installed, completely safe, non malicious applications uh, that that I'm, that I'm very trusting of. Uh, you know, like a couple of browsers, like Firefox was on there that I'd installed and a few plugins for that. And whilst it does keep your files, it does install all your it does install all your applications. A lot of them that, that have been installed recently, so I didn't really want to do that. So I got my Windows. Um, I'd already had this problem before, so I got my Windows memory stick. Uh, I got my memory stick that I'd, I'd had with a, an old restore point, a point on that was completely safe that I knew that I kept externally. Because normally that works. If the software restore doesn't work, that should work because it keeps your files and everything's happy. So I inst I um I plugged that in. Uh, I went into the the option on the advanced settings, and it was like it like it couldn't find it. It just it just couldn't blatantly couldn't find the drive. Which, which is an absolute pain, so I ended up endlessly clicking away at things that I probably shouldn't have clicked on, but um, in desperation, clicking on stuff I shouldn't have, and then I had to force the PC to shut down again, because Microsoft just can't sort their crap out. So yeah, basically, turn the PC back on, uh, as you do, trying to desperately, desperately find a solution to the problem, to try and make videos, which is which was kind of the aim, the aim of the evening. So it went into automatic repair again, went into the advanced settings again, and this time it picked up the memory stick, so I was like, yes, get it. Uh, maybe it was just my fault before, maybe I needed to refresh the page. So I, I, um, I hit the memory stick, got it to do its thing, it was like, yeah, go on, refresh, off you go. And then it was like, diagnose my PC again, and it was like, I can't, it, it's, it's not working. And I'm like, hang on a second, it's not working. Everything that's ever gone wrong before like this, there's been a on occasion, the memory stick method has always worked, and that's why I have it. So eventually, was going through more advanced settings, looking for more things. Go through the system restore, goes to the old restore points, tries to restore it back to the old ones. Unwillingly, didn't really want to do it, but go back to the old ones. And I thought, well, well last resort, it's going to work. At least, I might have to spend a couple of hours installing things, but at least I know my PC's back to normal. So I let it do its thing, it took about 10 minutes faffing around with its little green bar whizzing across the screen, and um, and, and it failed that as well. And I'm just so, so annoyed with, with why n nothing can ever work when it comes when it comes to Windows. Something always breaks for, something, for some reason that isn't your fault. So I say this, Microsoft, I say this in the politest possible way possible. Sort your sh** out, Microsoft, will you please? Because it is the most irritating thing when you really, when you, content creators and other people that just want to play games on their PC are trying to, just trying to go about their daily business. They've bought into your ecosystem. They've bought your product mainly because there's no other competition on the market. And for that, Microsoft, you're very lucky because Linux hasn't got the widely wide available availability of applications and it's a bit more complicated for people to install mac os actually tied down um, to their computers only otherwise it's a bit illegal and very very hard so 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 microsoft you're just taking the mic please fix all of this in windows 10 otherwise you'll be losing a custom i might just have to go and break the law just a little bit and build a hacking tosh which i really wouldn't rather not do so microsoft sort it out for windows 10 i beg you and the problem still isn't fixed. I, st I still can't get up to Windows 10 when it does come out anyway. So I don't have a function in Windows 8.1 machine. And I've just sort of given up for the night now. I've just sort of, you know, put it to one corner, left it to one side. And I'm not able to make certain videos because of that reason. Because I do need to record the gameplay for the background to edit in Premiere on my Mac. So, you know, there's nothing I can really do. And um, unfortunately, Microsoft, it is an absolute mess. I've tried your online support services, your online live chat. 
everything that's possible to be tried and no one knows what they're talking about and I've just given up. So Microsoft, sort it out, make sure it's right for Windows 10, if I can even get Windows 10. And um, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed the video, hopefully it's given you a bit of an insight. Do be careful what you install, I was careful, but it's just complete potluck. Just n nothing really my fault. Make sure you've got loads of restore points on your PC. Make sure you keep your original USB bootable drive, your installation media. Because one day you are going to need it when your computer just flops out because Microsoft are a bunch of idiots. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate and please do subscribe. And we'll see you in the next Geek What video.